Hi, welcome to the Corporate Maths video solutions to the volume of a cube and the volume of a cuboid practice questions. If you want to watch the video tutorials on volume of a cube and a volume of a cuboid, if you go to corpmathcom forward slash contents and you go to video 355, that'll be the video tutorial on the volume of a cube and the volume of a cuboid. Alternatively, you can scan that QR code on the front of the booklet and that will bring you directly to it. But in this video, I'm just going to focus to the answers to the practice questions and uh, let's get started. So question number one. Question number one says, shown below is a cube cube of side five centimeters. So here you've got a cube and it's got a side length of five centimeters, so five by five by five. I've been asked to work out the volume of a cube. So to work out the volume of this cube, we work out the volume, which is the length times the width times the height. So we're going to do five times five times five, and that'll tell us the volume of this cube. So the volume is equal to five times five times five. Now this is a calculator question, so you could use a calculator and do 5 times 5 times 5 and get 125. Alternatively, let's work it out. 5 times 5 is 25, so we've got 25 multiplied by 5, and then 25 multiplied by 5 would be 125. So our answer is 125, and we've been asked to include units for answer. Because we're dealing in centimetres here, it's going to be centimetres cubed or cube centimetres. So our answer is 125 centimetres cubed. Okay, let's have a look at question number two. So question number two says, calculate the volume of a cube with side length six centimeters. And we're to state the units of our answer. So the volume of a cuboid or a cube is the length times the width times the height. And this is a cube, so that means that all the side lengths are the same, six centimeters. So that's gonna be six centimeters times six times six. So the volume is equal to six times six times six. And it is a calculator question, so we can do six times six times six or six cubed. And the answer would be the volume is equal to 216. And in terms of units, we're dealing in centimetres, so it's going to be centimetres cubed or cubed centimetres. So the answer is 216 centimetres cubed. OK, let's have a look at our next question, question number three. So question number three says, shown below is a solid cuboid. So here we've got this cuboid. It's got a length of nine centimetres, a width of two centimetres, and a height of three centimetres. And we've been asked to work out the volume of this cuboid. So the volume is equal to the length times the width times the height. So the length is nine, the width is two, and the height is three. Now remember, it doesn't actually matter which order you put these numbers in. So as long as you do nine times two times three, you're going to get the right answer. So the volume would be equal to, and it's a calculator question, so we just do nine times two times three and that's equal to 54 so the answer would be 54 centimeters cubed and that's it question number four so here we've got a cuboid and it's got a length of five a width of three and a height of three so and we've been asked to work out the volume so the volume is equal to the length times the width times the height so that's going to be five times three times three five times three by three. And whenever we do that, and this is a non-calculator question, so five times three is equal to 15, and 15 multiplied by three would be equal to 45. So answer would be 45 centimeters cubed. Okay, so that's question number four. Let's have a look at question number five. So here's question number five, and we've got this cuboid, and we've been asked to work out the volume of this cuboid. State the units of your answer. So we've got a cuboid, and the volume will be equal to the length times the width times the height. So the length of this cuboid is 11, the width is 11, and the height is 7. So it's going to be 11 times 11 times 7. And remember, the order doesn't actually matter. You could do 7 times 11 times 11 and so on. It will give you the same answer. And this is a calculator question. So 11 times 11 times 7 is equal to 847. So the answer would be 847 centimeters cubed. Okay, let's have a look at question number six. So question number six, here we've got a cuboid, and the question says, work out the volume of this cuboid. So the volume will be equal to the length times the width times the height. And for this cuboid, the length would be 4.2, the width is equal to 1.8, and the height would be equal to 2.5. So we just need to do 4.2 times 1.8 times 2.5. And it's a calculator question, so we just need to tap that in. So 4.2 multiplied by 1.8 multiplied by 2.5 equals... So the answer is 18.9 centimetres cubed. Okay, let's have a look at our next question, question number seven. Okay, let's have a look at question number seven. And question number seven is a calculator question, and it says, a cuboid is shown below. So we've got this cuboid. It's got a length of seven centimetres, a width of three centimetres, and a height of Y. And we've been told the volume of the cuboid is 105 centimetres cubed. And we've been asked to find Y, the height of the cuboid. So to find the volume of a cuboid, we would do the length multiplied by the width multiplied by the height. So we would do seven times three, which is 21. And then we would do 21 times Y, and we would get 105. So we would do seven times three is equal to 21. And then we would do 21 times a certain number to get 105. Now, if we divide 105 by 21, we can find out what this number would have been. So if we do 105 divided by 21, we can find out what this number would be. 
and 105 divided by 21 is 5. So that means that the height of the cuboid must have been 5 centimeters, and that's it. So the question said to find y, and y is 5 centimeters. Okay. okay, let's have a look at question number eight. So in question number eight, we've been given a cuboid, and the cuboid's got a height of 10 centimeters, a width of nine centimeters, and a length of y. And we've been told the volume. So in other words, whenever we multiply the value for y by nine by 10, we would get 2,700. And we've been asked to find this number that's here, this y. So let's multiply the two numbers we've been given, and it's a non-calculator question. So we're gonna do nine times 10, and nine times 10 is equal to 90, whenever we multiply these two together. And then if we take our 90 and we multiply it by this value for y, we would get 2,700. So if we divide 2,700 by 90, we will find what this number would be. So 2,700 divided by 90. So to do 2,700 divided by 90, I'm gonna do the bus shelter method. So I'm gonna do 2,700, and I'm gonna divide that by 90 and see what we get. So 90 into two doesn't go, so move the two over to make 27. 90 into 27, what well, doesn't go, so let's then put the 27 there to make 270. 90 into 270, well 90, 180, 270, just counting up the multiples of 90. So that's one, two, three. And 90 into zero goes zero times. So that's would be 30. So 2,700 divided by 90 is 30. So that means that the length of this cuboid must be 30 centimeters. And the question said to find y, y was equal to 30. So 30 centimeters, that's it. Okay, let's have a look at question number nine. So question number nine said a cube is shown below. So we've got this cube and we've got the height of the cube is equal to x. And because it's a cube, that means that the width would be equal to x and the length would be equal to x as well. And we've been told the volume of the cube is 27 centimeters cubed. In other words, if we take our number x and we multiply by itself and by itself again, we will get 27. So let's figure out what number do we multiply by itself and by itself again to get 27. Well, that would be three because three times three is equal to nine and multiplied by three would be equal to 27. So that means that x would have to be three centimeters. And the question said to find x, that would be three centimeters. Now in terms of this question, we were given a cube and told its volume and we wanted to find the side length. And if you ever want to find the side length of a cube and you're told its volume, you just want to work out the cube root of that volume. So in this case, we worked out the cube root of 27. And to find the cube root of a number, you just figure out what number do you multiply by itself and by itself again to get 27. In this case, it would be three. If the question said the volume of the cube was 125 centimeters cubed and we were asked to find the side length, we would work out the cube root of 125 and the number that we multiply by itself and by itself again to get 125 would be 5. So that means that each of the sides would be 5 centimeters and so on. Okay, let's have a look at question number 10. So question number 10, we are given two cuboids. We've got this cuboid and we've got this cuboid and we've been told that both cuboids have the same volume. Find y. So the volume of this cuboid is the same as the volume of this cuboid. So let's look at this cuboid on the left-hand side because we're told the length, which is 7, the width, which is four, and the height, which is two centimeters. And let's work out this volume. So the volume of this cuboid, and it's a non-calculator question, would be seven multiplied by four multiplied by two. And seven times four is equal to 28, multiplied by two would be equal to 56. So the volume of this cuboid would be 56 centimeters cubed. So we've worked out the volume of this cuboid on the left. Now, the cuboid on the right has the same volume. So it means that this cuboid has a volume of 56 centimeters cubed as well. Now we know the volume of this cuboid is 56 centimeters cubed as well. And we've got the width of it is equal to one centimeter and the height is equal to two centimeters. And then we just need to work out the length of this cuboid. So if we do one multiplied by two, well one times two is equal to two. And then if we multiply that by a certain number, we will get 56. So if we take our 56 and divide it by that answer, that two, we can then figure out how long that cuboid is. So 56 divided by two, well half of 56 is 28. That means the length of this cuboid would be 28 centimeters. Centimeters. And that's it. Let's just check it. Seven times four is 28 times two is 56. 28 multiplied by one is 28 times two is also equal to 56. So our y, the length of this cuboid would be 28 centimeters and that's it. Okay, let's have a look at question number 11. So question number 11 says the net of a cuboid is shown below on a centimeter square grid. Because this is a centimeter square grid, we know that each one of the squares is one centimeter by one centimeter. And we've got this cuboid and we've been asked to work out the volume of a cuboid. And the volume of a cuboid is the length multiplied by the width multiplied by the height. So we need to work out the length of this cuboid, the width of this cuboid, and the height of the cuboid. 
So I find it quite useful to visualize it. So this would be the base of the cuboid. We would fold up this, 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 and this. So they would become the sides or the faces of the cuboid around the side. And then this would fold over to be the top of the cuboid. So this is going to be our base. The length of the cuboid, well, the length of it would be this, and the width of it would be that, and then the height of it would be that. So in other words, the length of the cuboid would be four centimeters. The width of the cuboid would be three centimeters. And in terms of it being folded upwards, the height of it would be two centimeters. So this cuboid, to find its volume, we would do the length, which would be four centimeters. We'd multiply it by the width of the cuboid, which would be three centimeters. And then in terms of the height of the cuboid, that would be two centimeters. So we just need to work out four multiplied by three multiplied by two. And four times three is equal to 12 times by two is equal to 24. So the volume of this cuboid would be 24 centimeters cubed. And that's it. So whenever you're given a net and you are asked to find the volume of a cuboid or so something like that, try and visualize what happened. So this would be the base, these sides or these faces would all fold upwards, that would be the lid. So in terms of the cuboid, it would be four long and three wide and the height of it would be two. Okay, let's have a look at question number 12. Okay, let's have a look at question number 12. So question number 12 says, shown below is a cereal box. So here's a cereal box. And we've been asked to calculate the volume of the box. So it's a cuboid. So the volume is going to be found by doing the length multiplied by the width multiplied by the height. The length of this cuboid, so it doesn't really matter which one's which, but uh, let's say the length is equal to 18 centimetres, so 18 centimetres. The width is equal to 4 centimetres, so multiply by 4, and the height would be 22 centimetres. So if we do 18 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 22, that would tell us the volume of the cereal box. So it's a calculator question, which is great. So 18 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 22 is equal to 1,584 centimetres cubed. And that's it. So that's question number 12. And that's it, so that's question number 12. Okay, let's have a look at question number 13. Okay, let's have a look at question number 13. So a cuboid fish tank measures 45 centimeters by 40 centimeters by 32 centimeters. In other words, it's 45 centimeters long, it's 40 centimeters wide, and it's 32 centimeters high. And the shopkeeper says it holds 58 liters, and one liter equals 1,000 centimeters cubed. So it's quite nice if told us that. So one liter is 1,000 centimeters cubed. So that means that 58 liters, so 58 liters would be 58 times this. So 58 times a thousand would be 58,000 centimeters cubed. So if it holds 58 liters, it would be have a volume of 58,000 centimeters cubed. And the question says, do we agree with the shopkeeper? Well, let's find the volume of the cuboid. So the volume is equal to the length multiplied by the width multiplied by the height. Now this cuboid has a length of 45, it has a width of 40, and it has a height of 32. And if we multiply those together, we will get 45 multiplied by 40 multiplied by 32 is equal to 57,600 centimeters cubed. Now the shopkeeper says it holds 58 liters. Now that would be 58,000 centimeters cubed. Now this answer, the volume of the cuboid or the fish tank is actually slightly less than that. It's not quite 58 liters, it's actually below that, it's 57. 1,600, which would be 57.6 litres, so it's a bit lower. And that's it, so I've said no, the volume of the fish tank is less than 58 litres. I don't agree with the shopkeeper because it's slightly under. Okay, let's have a look at question number 14. Okay, let's have a look at question number 14. So question number 14 says, show and blow is a swimming pool. So here's a swimming pool, and it's got a depth of 90 centimetres, it's got a width of 6 metres, and it's got a length of 12 metres. And we've been asked to find the volume of the swimming pool. So the volume of the swimming pool, because it's a cuboid, will be the length multiplied by the width multiplied by the height. And we've got to be careful in this question because we've got 90 centimetres, 6 metres and 12 metres. So we've got different units. We've got centimetres here for the depth, but then we've got metres for the other two. Now we could change our 6 metres into 600 centimetres. We could change our 12 metres into 1,200 centimetres. And we could multiply the 90 by the 600 by the 1,200. And we could get the volume of the swimming pool in centimetres cubed. And then it says state the units. So we would state the centimetres cubed would be the units. But that would be a very large number and because this and because it's a swim pool I'm gonna give it in meters cubed instead of centimeters cubed so I'm not gonna do that I'm actually gonna change the 90 centimeters into meters so remember one meter is equal to 100 centimeters so this is just gonna be slightly under that so we're gonna divide by 100 so that'd be 0.9 meters so 90 centimeters is 0.9 meters and to get the volume we're gonna do the length multiplied by the width multiplied by the height so the length is 12 multiplied by the width is 6 and multiplied by the height is 0.9 and that's all in meters and whenever we multiply those together we get and it's a calculator question so 12 multiplied by 6 multiplied by 0.9 is equal to 64.8 meters cubed 
and that's it. So that's our answer. Alternatively, you could have done it in centimeters if you wished, and it's just gonna be a much, much larger answer. And if you did do it that way, that would be 64,800,000 centimeters cubed. Okay, and that's it. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So our next question says, Aisha pours fruit juice into a cuboid container. And so we've got our cuboid container. It's got a length of 40 centimeters, a depth of 32 centimeters, and a height of 24 centimeters. And the container is three quarters full of fruit juice. Also, it's not full, it's three quarters full. So it's roughly that depth. So if you were to fill it up with fruit juice, it's going up about three quarters of the depth. Um, and the question says, Aisha uses the fruit juice in the container to fill as many 150 mils cups as possible. How many cups can Aisha fill? So first of all, let's work out the volume of fruit juice in this container. So the, remember the volume. The volume is equal to length multiplied by width multiplied by height. So the length times the width times the height. The length, well, that's going to be 40 multiplied by the width is going to be equal to 32. So 40 multiplied by 32. And then we're going to multiply it by the height. Now it's not 24. That would be a full container. We're told the container is three quarters full of fruit juice. So I'm going to work out three quarters of the height because it's three quarters of, it's because it's three quarters full. So we're going to work out three quarters of 24. So to find three quarters of 24, we divide by the bottom and times by the top. So 24 divided by four is six, and multiplied by three would be 18. So the depth of the fruit juice in the container would be 18 centimeters, not the 24. So we're gonna do 40 multiplied by 32 multiplied by 18. And that would tell us the volume of fruit juice in the container. So 40 multiplied by 32 multiplied by 18 gives us, that's equal to 23,040 centimeters cubed. And the question says, Aisha uses the fruit juice to fill as many 150 milliliter cups as possible. Now, previously, we looked at the fact that one liter was equal to 1,000 centimeters cubed. Now, that's really useful because one liter is 1,000 milliliters. So 1,000 milliliters is the same as a liter. So that means that 1,000 milliliters would also be equal to 1,000 centimeters cubed. Now, 1,000 milliliters being equal to 1,000 centimeters cubed means that one milliliter equals one centimeter cubed. And that's fantastic because we know the volume of the fruit juice in the container is 23,040 centimeters cubed. That means that the volume of fruit juice in the container is actually 23,040 milliliters. And we want to fill as many 150 milliliter cups as possible. And this is a calculator question. Oh, that's great. So we just need to divide 23,040 by 150 and see what we get. So whenever we divide 23,040 by 150, we get an answer of 153.6. So that means that Aisha can fill 153.6 cups. So the question is, how many cups can she fill? She's trying to fill as many 150 milliliter cups as possible. She can fill 153 cups completely. And that's it, because she doesn't have enough fruit juice to fill the 154th cup. Okay, let's have a look at question number 16. So question number 16 says, water is stored in two cuboid tanks A and B. So we've got tank A and tank B. So tank A is full, and the question says, the volume of water in the two tanks is equal, so this amount of water is the same as this amount of water. And as you can see, Q, tank B isn't quite full, but we know that the volumes are the same. And the question says, work out the depth of water in tank B. So let's find the volume of water in tank A to begin with. So the volume will be equal to the length times the width times the height, so that's gonna be equal to 20 multiplied by six multiplied by 16. And again, the order is not important whenever you're multiplying these, and it is a calculator question. So 20 multiplied by six multiplied by 16 is equal to 1,920 meters cubed. So that's how much water is in this tank. There's 1,920 cubic meters of water, or meters cubed. And tank B, well, we're told that the amount of water in this tank is the same. So we know that the amount of water in the tank as it is, is the same as tank A, this 1,920. So that means that if we do 25 multiplied by 30, and then multiply by our missing number, this depth, we will get 1,920. So if we do 25 multiplied by 30, that's equal to 750. And then if we take that 750 and multiply it by X, we will get 1,920. So if we take our 1,920 and divide it by 750, we can work out this value for X, the depth of water. So that would be 2.56 meters. So the depth of water in tank B is 2.56 meters. And that's it. So the question is, work out the depth of water in tank B, 2.56 meters or 256 centimeters. Okay, let's have a look at question number 17. 
OK, let's have a look at question number 17. So question number 17 says Bianca has a puzzle and it's got a cardboard box, which is a cuboid that measures 8 centimetres by 10 centimetres by 6 centimetres high. And there's wooden blocks and loads of them and they're cubes and they measure 2 centimetres by 2 centimetres by 2 centimetres because they're cubes. And we're asked how many wooden cubes will fit into the cardboard box. Now, there's a dedicated video to these types of questions on Cobra Maps and feel free to watch that. Um, I'm going to just show you how to do this question. So we've got this cube and it's measuring 2 by 2 by 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to consider if I was to put lots of those in on the base of the cuboid, how many I'll fit in that bottom layer. So that bottom layer of cubes in that box would look something like this. This is a little sketch. Now, in terms of each of the blocks, they measure two centimeters. Now, it's eight centimeters wide. That means we're going to fit four across this way. So one, two, three, four. And then going backwards, well, each one of them has a depth of two centimeters, and this is 10 centimeters deep. So if we go down, we'd have one, two, three, four, five of them, because two, four, six, eight, ten. Now I'm just going to sketch what that base would look like. So it would have four rows of five. So if I was to sketch it. That's a really bad sketch, but I've tried my best there. And it's got, if you look, we've got one, two, three, four rows. And in each of the rows is one, two, three, four, five cubes. So let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Or a quick way to do that would be say, well, four fit that way, five fit that way, four times five is twenty. So there's twenty of these wooden blocks would fit on the first layer. In terms of how many layers there would be, because each of the blocks is two centimeters and the total height of the cuboid is six centimeters, there'd be three layers. There'd be the layer we've done, we then get another one, and then a final one on top. So that means there's going to be three lots of 20. And three times 20 would be 60 blocks or 60 cubes. So the answer, the question asked us how many cubes would fit in the cardboard box. Well, the answer would be 60 because there's 20 on the bottom layer and there's one, two, three layers. So three times 20 is 60, and that's it. Okay, let's have a look at question number 18. So question number 18 is quite similar, and we've been given a storeroom which measures 4.2 metres by 3 metres by 2 metres. And there's boxes that measure 60 centimetres by 50 centimetres by 25 centimetres. And the question says, work out the greatest number of boxes that can be stored in the storeroom. Now, let's again figure out how many would fit along each web. So we've got 60 centimetres. Now we've got 4.2 metres, that's 420 centimetres. We've got 3 metres, that's 300 centimetres. And we've got our height, which is 2 metres, which is 200 centimetres. And let's figure out how many of these boxes, if we were to put them in, how many would fit along this way, how many would fit back, and how many would fit high. In terms of the lengths, now, what the great thing is with this question, 60 goes into 420, 50 goes into 300, and 25 goes into 200. That means we can fit them all in without any spaces. That will be the greatest number of boxes. And if we were to look at our 60, we would get in our 420, if we divide 420, and it's a calculator question, so 420, divided by 60 will be equal to 7. So that means we would get 7 boxes along this way. And then, in terms of the depth of them, how many rows would we have? Well, we've got 300. If we do 300 divided by 50, that tells us how many rows we would have. 300 divided by 50 is equal to 6. So there will be 7 boxes along here. We then have 6 rows of them going back that way. So we'd have 7 times 6. So if we do 7 times 6, that tells us there's 42 boxes along the base of the storm. if we were to put one layer in. Now let's figure out how many layers there would be. Now the height of each box is 25 centimeters so if we do 200 divided by 25 that's equal to 8 so that means there's going to be 8 layers of boxes in this storeroom so that means there'll be 7 across that way 6 that way so each layer has 42 7 times 6 is equal to 42 so that means there's 42 boxes on the bottom layer and there's 8 layers so if we do 42 multiplied by 8 that'll tell us how many boxes can fit into the storeroom and 42 multiplied by 8 is equal to 336 boxes. And that's it. Uh, let's just hope the door opens out. OK, question number 19. OK, let's have a look at question number 19. So question number 19 says a carton of milk is shown below. So we've got this carton of milk. It's, um, it's in the shape of a cuboid, so it's like a box of milk and we've got our cuboid and it's five centimeters a width of eight centimeters and a height of 15 centimeters 
And the question says the depth of milk in the carton is 12 centimeters. So the carton's not full of milk. It's actually only got a depth of 12 centimeters. So if we were to imagine the milk in the container, it would be something like that, where the height of it would be 12 centimeters. So it'd be 12 centimeters, the depth of milk. And the question says the carton is turned so that it stands on the shaded orange face. So it's going to be sort of flip down so that the sh it stands on that shaded orange face. In other words, that face is going to go on the table. And the question says, work at the depth of milk now. Well, let's start off by looking at this question. Well, we're told, first of all, that it's got a depth of 12 centimeters. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to work out the volume of milk in the container to begin with, because at the end, we're asked to work out the depth of milk. And one thing that hasn't changed is the amount of milk that's in the container. So the volume is equal to the length times the width times the height. And in terms of this cuboid to begin with, we've got our length, our width and our height. And remember, it doesn't actually matter which way around you put them. So we've got our five, our eight and our 12. So let's do five times eight times 12. And that will tell us how much milk is in the container to begin with and actually at the end because the amount of milk stays the same. So five times eight times 12 is equal to 480 centimeters cubed. So at the beginning, there's 480 centimeters cubed of milk in this box, in this carton. And then it says, the carton is turned so that it now stands on the shaded orange face. So in other words, if you've got our box of milk or you know, a container of milk and you've got it standing upright, now I'm just sort of trying to get a cuboid and the nearest thing I've got to hand is my calculator. And I've got my calculator stand upright so that I've got my sort of the keys and the face facing towards me. So that's the orange face of the cuboid. Um, my depth of it isn't quite five centimeters. It's just a width of my calculator, you know. Um, but I've got the calculator stand upright with my keys and stuff facing towards me and it says that that orange face is then going to be it's going to be standing on that face in other words that face is going to be on the bottom so if i had my calculator i'd put it face down so now my keys and stuff are facing down towards the table so that's kind of what's happening to the box of milk okay um so what would happen is this 15 and 8 would then be along the bottom and the depth which was five centimeters will now be the height of the cuboid it's going to be facing upwards i've drawn a bit of a sketch this is what it would look like after it's been put face down on the table it would look something like this uh, let's get rid of that so it's they got the 15 and the 8 along the bottom and the height would be the five centimeters we've sort of put it face down so that the 15 and the 8 are along the bottom on the table and the five centimeters is going upwards now remember that if you had milk in it it wasn't full so that means that it's not full now so it means that if we were to sketch the milk it would look something like this where you've got it not full still um, but we do know that the volume of milk in the container is still the same so the volume was 480 that means the volume of milk in this container in this cuboid container this cuboid carton is still 480 centimeters cubed so we're asked to work at the depth of the milk so we're trying to find this the depth of the milk now we know that it's 15 times 8 times the depth and if you do 15 times 8 times the depth we will get 480 so let's do 15 times 8 so 15 multiplied by 8 is equal to 120 so 15 times 8 is equal to 120 and then if we multiply that by the depth we will get 480 so if we do 480 divided by 120 that's equal to 4 so that means that the depth of the milk must be 4 centimeters and that's it so in this question my students usually find this one quite tricky because they find it hard to visualize what's happening so maybe get maybe one of those i'm thinking of those mini boxes of uh cornflake boxes and if you get one of those and experiment or get whatever cuboid you can and just imagine that if you had that front face in orange and then you were to rotate it what it would look like and that's it okay let's have a look at our next question so question number 20. Okay, question number 20. So question number 20 says a cuboid has a volume of 135 centimeters cubed. So whenever we do the length times the width times the height, we've got an answer of 135 centimeters cubed. And this is the area of the base of the cuboid is 15 centimeters squared. So the area of the base is 15 centimeters squared. Work at the height of the cuboid. Well, that's, that's quite straightforward because if we had a cuboid, like so if we had our length our width and our height well to get the area of the base we must have done the length multiplied by the width so length times width is equal to 15. then we just need to multiply that by the height to get the volume so we just need to figure out what we would multiply 15 by to get 135 so in other words we need to do 135 divided by 15 and that'll be our answer so we just need to work out how many 15s go into 135. now 
this is a non-calculator question, so there's different ways you can do this. You could list all the multiples of 15 if you wanted to. Now, one thing I've noticed is that 10 15s is equal to 150. 135 would be one less 15, so that would be nine. So that means the height of our cuboid must be nine centimeters, and that's it, so the answer is nine centimeters. And so that's it. So we've done 135 divided by 15. And remember to do that division, you could just write the multiples of 15 until you get to 135. Um, alternatively, you could just work it out the way I did. That's it. Okay, let's have a look at question number 21. So question number 21 says, the surface area of a cube is 1,734 centimeters squared. Work out the volume of the cube. So here's a cube, and we're told that the surface area, so that's the area of all the six faces, that's the front, the back, the right, the left, the top and the bottom, is 1,734 centimeters squared. So that means if we take our 1,734 and we divide that by six, we will find the area of each one of the six faces. And it's a calculator question, so that's quite nice. So 1,734 divided by six is 289. That means that the area of the front is 289 centimeters squared. The area of the top would be 289 centimeters squared. The area of the right hand side would be 289 centimeters squared. Same for the bottom, the left, the back, and so on. So the question says work out the volume of the cube. So to work out the volume of the cube, we need to do the length times the width times the height. So let's focus on the front of the cube. So the front of the cube is a square, and it's a square with an area of 289 centimeters squared. So we know the area of the square. Now if we know the area of a square, we can find the side length of the square. And if we can find the side length of the square, that would be the same as the side length of the cube, and then we can find the volume of the cube. So we want to figure out what number do we multiply by itself to get 289. And we can do that by finding the square root of 289. So on our calculator, we'll press the square root of 289, and that's equal to 17. So that means that this square is 17 centimeters by 17 centimeters. And because this is a cube, that means that if the width is 17 centimeters, and the height is 17 centimeters, then the depth would be 17 centimeters as well. And we want to find the volume of the cube, so we're going to do the volume is equal to 17, multiply by 17, multiply by 17, and that will tell us the volume of our cube. And that's equal to 4,913 centimeters cubed, and that's it. So these have been the video solutions to the volume of a cube and the volume of a cuboid practice questions. I really, really hope you find this video useful. Um, if you do need any extra help on the volume of a cube or the volume of a cuboid, if you go to corpmavs.com forward slash content, go to video 355, and, that, and that'll be the video tutorial on the volume of a cube and the volume of a cuboid. Alternatively, scan the QR code. Now, I really hope you find this video useful. If you have found it useful, please like the video, please subscribe to the YouTube channel, and thanks very much. Cheers. Bye.